Hello, Namaste, Salaam Walaikum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today, after a long time, we are starting our cooking shows back again. So I want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. And also, I want to wish you all a very, very happy cooking for this new year. I know after a long time, we are starting the show again. So today, we're going to learn how to make a simple onion gravy. Simple onion gravy, what I mean is, in this process, we are going to saute the onions till these onions are slightly brown. So, in how many ways we can brown the onions, we are going to talk a little bit and we are going to do some cooking today. So, dear friends, are you ready? For this, we are going to add oil into a pan. But how much oil to add? This is always a debate whenever I do cooking. You can also add one tablespoon of oil, what we need to fry, one cup of onions. But I am going to add two tablespoons of oil because I am going to use a method what we use in the hotels that is drain out method many times when we are really busy and we get an order we have to cook this dish to perfection but we don't have so much time that we use the minimum oil and fry it to this process i'm going to add cloves cinnamon sticks cardamom and a little bit of uh, cumin seeds you can use black cumin or regular cumin for this dish add this to hot oil and when they are just done add chopped onion to this I know you can see that there is extra oil in this, but when these onions are just done, I'm going to drain out. So do not forget our magic trick that is adding a little bit of salt to these onions. Just add half a teaspoon of uh, salt to this and uh, let it cook. What happens in this process is these onions ooze out that extra moisture and they fry really fast. In less than four minutes, my onions are ready. And also you can see if I just move the onions on one side, this oil, the extra oil will come out. And now I'm going to drain this oil. Once these onions are slightly little more brown, I wanted a pinch of more uh, brownness to this onion. Now you can see this extra oil has come out. I'm going to drain this and I'm going to use it in other cooking if I want. Just drain out whatever the extra oil is there in this. In fact, you can see that I drained out more than one tablespoon of oil. That means I've used less than one tablespoon of oil to fry these onions. See, in Indian cooking, the perfect way of cooking is when you have the ingredients cooked to the right consistency. A Lot of times, a lot of people make mistakes that they don't cook the onions right. If you add a little less oil, you can cook it right, but it takes long time. You can do both methods. In fact, we are so lucky we have non-stick pans. You can add few drops of oil, put a lid on it and let it cook for 15 minutes and you will have the onions cook perfectly. But if I want the onions brown, I want them brown, nothing less than that. Now you can see hardly there is any oil. Now I'm going to add turmeric. I want this uh, turmeric to cook in the oil because that's when it loses out its uh, true color and nice flavor. Saute it a little bit and then add ginger garlic paste. See, in this method of draining out, I did not add ginger garlic paste to the onions while I was cooking them because removing oil after you add ginger garlic paste becomes a little more difficult. To this add one tablespoon of uh, coriander powder and a chili powder. I am going to use one tablespoon of chili powder. If you want to add a little less, you can add a little less to this. And also, if you want to add green chili, you want to add curry leaves, you can add to this. But don't cook this dry masala for a long time like this because it's going to make it bitter. Add water a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow. Now, you have your basic onion gravy ready. To this, you can add anything. Chop a little bit paneer, add a little cream, or add a lot of vegetables and let it cook. But your gravy is going to taste good because you have these onions cooked to perfection. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a twist to this onion gravy. I'm going to add half a cup of uh, methi leaves. Onion gravy was done. Methi leaves doesn't go into onion gravy, but I want to make something different. In this, if you add any vegetables, it's going to taste good. But today, I'm in the mood to eat chicken. I made this masala a little bit dry because I'm going to add chicken and this chicken will lose out moisture and I don't want to add any more moisture because whenever I'm cooking chicken, I want to have natural juices from it. That's when it tastes the greatest. So here is my chicken, which I marinated and kept it for two hours so that it cooks tender. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. From a simple onion gravy, I went to the chicken curry. But dear friends, the principle is same. Get your onions cooked perfect. If you're adding tomatoes, cook it perfect. Then whatever you add, it's going to taste good. Add chicken into that and it'll bring a big smile to a guy like me. Whatever you're cooking, you can just cover it with a lid and let it cook so that this onion masala and this vegetables or the chicken get mixed really good and the best taste comes out. And keep mixing it once in a while so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. So once the chicken is all ready, you're going to get the very beautiful aroma out of it. That's when you add chopped coriander on top and wow. You know, when you cook a dish like this, put your heart in, make sure your onions are perfectly cooked after which you add any other ingredient, your taste is going to be perfect. The best part of any story is the ending. Even in cooking, the best part is the ending. That's when I get to taste the chicken. You know what? I'm going to leave the tasting part for the next show. But dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make a simple onion gravy. I know it went little where and I cooked chicken with it. But do not forget, whatever is all about is all about something about inspiring I think so whatever is all about inspiring other people to cook so do not forget to post your favorite recipes at whatever.com so others can benefit from your great cooking